Honors Program Guide, there was a theme that hit home with me, and it was the theme number seven, Health and Medicine as Frontiers. My little brother, when he was born, he was born with phenoketonuria, but we're just going to call it PKU because that's way too long. He was born with a genetic disorder that causes him to follow a strict diet. He can't have birthday cake on his birthday, or ice cream on a hot sunny day, or steaks for dinner. It causes him to only eat some vegetables and mostly fruits. And if I had to go through what he had, I'd probably starve. Because I love brownies and all the things that are really healthy for you. And so when he was born, the doctors told my parents that my brother would never be cured. But my brother and I think that those doctors are wrong. Not too long ago, scientists cured mice with PKU in three intravenous injections using genetic therapy. But the cool thing about genetic therapy is that can, it can be used to cure other disorders genetically. And the cool part about this whole medical field evolving is that we can involve technology with it. And so who has an iPhone? <laughs> Do you know that you can actually take your temperature on your iPhone now? There's apps for it. But just imagine me sitting in a room and like having it like this in front of everybody. I think that'd be kind of but also, there are things like, um, who knows people that are diabetics? Almost everybody. Okay, you know how they have to prick their fingers? Well, there is now a patches that you put on your skin, and they electronically tell you when your blood sugar is too high or low. So no more pain, you know, which is awesome. Um, they have brain implants that actually can control cybernetic arms, and this is all happening right now. They have computers that do your checkups, so instead of meeting with nurses or doctors, you go see a computer, and they do your vital signs and all that stuff, so there's no human connection anymore around in some places. I took a quote out of the Honors Program Guide that said, there's always something else for humans to learn. I believe that each one of us has the opportunity to get a good education and use it for good. Someone in this room could be the one to finally cure my brother, cure AIDS or cancer, work to create world peace, deliver clean water to third world countries, save endangered species, or end global warming. We can be the ones to make a difference in this world.